my brothers and sisters, they say, you know, you he preaches a works-based salvation. We are saved by faith alone. I just showed you that that's not true. I just showed you that your interpretation of that scripture is wrong. Because believing is not enough. Unacceptable! Unacceptable! anymore excuse me you see see marcus it's exactly what i'm talking about this type of heretical teachings right here if faith is not enough to be saved then what else what else marcus are we supposed to be saved by how in the heck do we save ourselves the bible tells us that we are saved by grace through faith not of works that any man should boast do you not understand marcus that we don't deserve salvation that salvation is a free gift that grace is getting what you don't deserve and mercy is not getting what you do deserve. And the Bible tells us that even the faith that we have is not even our faith. So that tells us that salvation has nothing to do with us. Marcus Rogers, you have nothing to do with your salvation. And the fact you preach this heretical crap, I question if you even saved. Scripture tells us that those who are drawn by the Father end up coming to Christ. So you cannot come to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ unless you're drawn by the Father himself. The Bible tells us that we didn't choose God. God chose us. Salvation is not of our own doing because the truth of the matter is we are all sinners in need of a Savior and we could not save ourselves. You see, Marcus, deep down within us, we may think that we're good people or whatever the case may be. But deep down within our core of our humanity, we are sinful, fallible, flawed human beings who are in need of redemption. And the fact you say that faith isn't enough, that we have to do A, B, C, and do this and do that, you're preaching a works-based salvation. Because what you're saying is, Marcus, is that after we get saved, I have to do X, Y, and Z, and A, B, C to keep myself saved. But these things that we do for the Lord, like reading or praying or fasting and fellowship, we do these things in response to salvation. Obedience, good works, good fruit, these things are a byproduct of salvation. Paul tells us clear as day, anyone who preaches another gospel, let that man be accursed. Marcus, I don't think you understand that dangers that you are in and you are treading on thin ice, dude. You preach against the very core essentials of the faith, primarily the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you're a pastor, the large platform. And you get on YouTube and preach this crap and they eat it up. You need to repent, Marcus.